Well, it's our last morning in Arizona to hunt. So we're gonna go out to a familiar spot we've hunted before. And with any luck, a little dick dick will come by with an antler about that long. And we'll fill an Arizona tag. If not, it's been a lot of fun. <clears throat> a lot of fun guys in camp just taking advantage of these over-the-counter opportunities that Arizona has. Tons of public land. Enjoying some beautiful weather, beautiful scenery. And thanks to the chefs we had in camp, i.e. Marcus and Jonathan, we've been enjoying some great food also. Stay tuned. This could be the morning. I don't know. This is the morning. Oh, Marcus says this is the morning. Yes, it is the morning right now. <laughs> <laughs> the morning that Randy Newberg kills a Sonoran Dick Dick. A rare species found in very few collections. Very, very few museums. You won't even, I bet you if you Googled Sonoran Dick Dick, it probably doesn't even come up. It's such a rare species. Google doesn't even know about it. We got here in plenty of time. We thought we might be heading to the far, far away place that takes an hour. No, at the last minute I decided to come here to a place that takes about a half hour. So, we get to sit here and wait for the sun to come up. Last day in Arizona, this trip's been awesome. It's always my favorite trip. We get to come and meet, meet up with some old friends, meet some new ones, and... Uh, it's just been a fun time so far, so last day, hopefully we can get it done. I'm gonna find a buck for Randy and uh, he's gonna go kill it. Him and Marcus are gonna go kill it. And I'm gonna sit here and uh, endure this beautiful weather here in Southern Arizona. Windy, 40 degrees and windy. The downside about the best glass and knobs, everybody's the windiest, because they're the most exposed. Got a buck and two does way over there about a mile. And there it looks like the doe is trying to find a spot out of the wind to bed down. And the buck's just doing what bucks do in the rut. Walking around sniffing everything. Hoping that they bed down in some little cut. Little ease around. Come in with the crosswind and maybe get close enough to shoot. Hopefully. Why well, he keeps charging at that other one? He treats her like she's a little buck, but... they disappeared into this little group of trees. I'm pretty sure they're bedded. They haven't come out for, well, they disappeared about 20 minutes ago. And it's about that time they usually bed between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. So we got a really stout wind. I mean, my shot distances are gonna be really, really close in this wind. Somehow, I'm gonna have to get downwind of them and come up, unfortunately, they're above from the wind direction. If I'm gonna come in from downwind, I'm also coming in from below them, which is really, really tough to see. We're about 250. 
50 yards away. There goes nothing. Damn dope. Dang it. The dough is hard. Smelled something. <sighs> so frustrating. Bedded right here. But he had three does up here, and I don't know if they heard, they saw, but one of them just came blasting out of here. Guess I should have just stayed there. But my fear was if he got up and went this way, I was tied up against some bushes and I wouldn't have had a shot. So I was trying to get around him, just three feet or so. I know it's there. 34 yards was where we stopped. And then I made it forward a couple more yards. <laughs> this is why I do it. This is, you know, you get through this moment of frustration and then you stop and think about how your heart is still going boom, 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 boom. And the exhilaration of standing right there, seeing his antlers here above the grass. Thinking, yep, yeah, is why I do it. There is something inside all of us that is this pursuit, this predator, this DNA that drives us to hunt. And today, this is my last stock. We got to go back to camp and get reorganized and do a bunch of other stuff so my third year of coming down here and chasing these things and i've yet to release an arrow all right folks southern arizona come do it i can assure you if you come and do it you'll have a serious serious good time a really good time the weather's beautiful Lots of deer, lots of public land, lots of tags. Thanks for watching. <laughs>